Hey friends, it's uh, May 29th, 2019, and we're still here. I had a friend come over, a friend now, he was a, he's a Korean veteran from the North Korean War, but he come by to give me a pin, let's see the pin. We can read it. Anyway, it's a appreciation pen. There it is. For, the, for our armed services veterans from the Elks Club. I guess he's some big to do in the Elks Club. Anyway, I thought I'd uh, share that with you. That's what he come. Then to say hi to me. I'll do the play of the video here real quick. You need the light on? This is Jim. He's a North Korean vet. Which was a very many, many of them left, period. Just like us old Vietnam vets. He's uh, prior to us. He uh, set the ground playing for the crazy wars that we played and have been playing for years. I just thought uh, it'd be nice that uh, he stopped in. He's a uh, deliverer for the hospital. He delivers voluntarily supplies for the hospital. And I wanted to say thank you, sir, for your service. Thank I appreciate you. everything you've done, sir. Okay. We really appreciate you. That's all I'm going to put on film on you. I'm just going to have a short clip of you here. Okay. It's the old Marine Vaughn. Yep. Talking to him. Yeah, I'm sitting in the Air Force. I can, I can run a little faster. <laughs> got a bigger chain. Yeah, I'm here. Air got, Force. Uh, <coughs> Air Force. Uh -huh. He's in the Air Force, so uh -huh. we'll talk to you later, friends. Bye bye. Hug the wife. Hug the wife, hug the wife and hug the kids. Bye bye, friend. Before you wrestle, you'll be awake. You need the light on? This is. Well, anyway. That was awful nice of him stopping by and saying hi. Uh -huh. I, uh, I've been fighting this, uh, it's like an infection. For your anus is, sometimes you acquire these little holes, they got special names for them. And I got several of them that run through my body. And if I don't keep them well cleaned, then they want to get infected. So that's about a three or four time a day job. I'm running about 120 pounds. Okay. Been fighting as hard as I can with this. Doing uh, the standard medication. You know, we're, uh, we're trying to do this a natural way. Just had breakfast this morning. We had uh, biscuits and uh, Livy's. I shouldn't have said Libby. Anyway, I said it. Uh, sausage and gravy in a can. Rinda made that for me. Rinda's feeling a little bit better. We've been praying real hard. You guys have been praying hard. So she can take a little better care of me. None of this happens without the Lord. Him caring and loving you. And, and then, then if nothing else happens. Unless you have friends like all you out there that truly care, that pray every day and then think about me. I mean, look where we're at now. We're still up and moving about. I have problems with the bathroom thing because uh, it doesn't really have a control system, so it leaks. And I have to change it all the time. I'm trying to get things under control so I can at least enjoy what I got. Uh, things are looking good. I mean, I've, I, I don't feel any weaker. I feel like I'm heading around the right direction. And I know all your prayers and all your caring out there has made the difference. You're such a generous bunch of people. I, each, I love each and every one of you all over the world. I've read your letters. I've looked at your pictures. 
your paintings, the other things you've done. Hey, Brenda, grab that picture. Can you grab that picture? What's the picture, honey? That uh, my little friend painted. Painted or? The painted, the one painted. Uh, this one, this is one of my friends. You'll recognize the picture, he painted it. But uh, this is the kind of people we have. They care enough to sit down and capture you on, on uh, a piece of metal. Yeah. I think it's wonderful. It's, it's a treasured item to me. But he uh, he done that for me. And there's some other photographs and stuff of uh, sunsets and stuff in California. And just wonderful and wonderful letters. Just wonderful people. We had a mishap with one of the mail that came through. Apparently the exchange of money with uh, the country or whoever it was didn't fit the criteria the bank I deal with, so I returned it to him. Told him thank you anyway and thank you for being such a good friend. That's what I say to all of you. Thank you for being very good friends. I wouldn't be able to do this if it wasn't for your help. You'd be surprised with this, this, these little items that you have to buy. You know, I go through, I, I almost go through a roll of toilet paper a day. A box, maybe and a half of uh, Kleenex a week. Got all kinds of chemical, chemical stuff you have to mess with. I try to eat. I'm always buying something different, try to eat. All that's being, being done by you folks. All you caring folks that care for me. And I appreciate you. I, I'll, I'll never be able to repay you. I just thank you when I'm on the other side. You guys are just wonderful people. All the cards. All the cards, everything. I've got a stack of thank you cards that I'm going to try to get, talk Brenda into filling out and sending back to you for thanking you guys. Because I haven't forgotten none of you. Even if it's just a letter, it's an uplifting the card, letter. calls, the text. Yeah, you know, the text, the call, the cards. It's just so much. It's All the support. So much to keep up with. That you guys are, have done generously through your hearts. And I love you for it. With that said, I'm going to say uh, you have a good day Tomorrow, on May 26th. Tomorrow's what? Memorial Day? Yeah. Yeah, tomorrow's Memorial Day, friends. Don't think I'll be able to make that one. Simple fact is my health won't let me. <coughs> It's just, you know, you have to learn how to deal with this each and every day. It takes your body into a different zone. You got to eat enough so you don't get dizzy and fall down and get hurt. And you got to you gotta try to keep an appetite. You don't want to take too much of anything, then you don't know if it's doing you any good or not. So I've been trying to balance everything out and see how it affects me in the long run. Is there an answer for all this? I don't know. As far as a cure, if there is, it'll come out someday. But I know the Lord must love me because I'm always telling him to take me home. Just take me home in my sleep. But I wake up to another day, and it's a beautiful day. There's many things that I can't do any longer. I haven't driven in a month and a half. I walk a little bit, as much as I'd like to be. You just learn to give things up that you uh, were able to do before. And you just uh, don't let it get you down. You stay content. But you're still here, you just have to readjust your life.
the advantage I have is I'm retired and so many that are in the shape I am, men, are not. So they have to deal with it in a different manner, which I feel sad for them. The fistula but, uh, is uh, the hole that seeps out all the time. When you're walking, it comes out, and then you have to she's talk, it. She's talking about the, the, wound. the wound is on my, uh, on my, on my left cheek. Yeah, yeah. Three knees. That's, that's, you know that's for that little. That's for that little. Uh, that tumor is hiding now. That. Oh, right now, eyes. everything seems to be okie dokie. I'm gonna try and talk more to you guys. I'm sorry I haven't been able to. I haven't had the strength. I just haven't had the power. You know. I'm starting to wear down now. I just wanted to say hi to you and tell you I love you. We appreciate everything. Rinda says we appreciate everything you guys do and she means it sincerely. That means when she goes to the store to need to get stuff that she's got it. Because you guys have helped provide. The Lord has helped you and you've helped us. I mean that's the, that's the way it's meant to be. It truly is. It'll all come back to us someday for the good things we do. I love the card Berlanson and uh, uh, his wife. Yeah, Berlanson. <laughs> Brenda liked that card that come from Berlanson. I love Berlanson. all the cards. Brenda so reads the cards. We got a stack of them. Uh, we like reading them. The perfect prayer, ultimate wireless connection. <laughs> Send us all kinds of beautiful cards, friends. Well, with that said, hug the kids, hug your wife. Preach Give everybody around you a big hug and tell them you love them. Stay strong and positive. Because we don't know what the world has got all for family. us. Your whole family. They are a family to us. Oh, you are our family. Always have been. There's no strangers. You know that. I've always cared for you as you've cared for me. Sorry, I can't keep up with you. Well, you know, I'd love to be out there stronger for you. But right now, I'm not able to even fight those stupid politics. That's a shame. Huh? Yeah, got some get people do it. Dependable to do things. Yeah, we finally got somebody to blow our yard for us. A neighbor across the street enjoys doing it. So he's going to mow our yard. Dryer's going out. Yeah, I got a dryer going out, so I got to buy a dryer. Oh. They just don't end. You know. The sewer back up. Well, she just, but she just keeps <laughs> smiling. So I like Have a lot of fun. It's okay. This is life, guys. <laughs> I love you. Love you, Lord. Love the Lord. Love you, Jesus Christ. Remember, he's the only way to heaven. Hug your kids, hug your wife. Yo, Marine Vaughn. On May 26th, 2019. God bless. We care for each one of you. And thank you very much for the things Amen. you've done. Amen. Bye-bye, friends. Appreciate the prayers.